guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get this look right here. And to do this look, I used the Metals and Matte Palette from Kat Von D. And I've used this in a previous video, but I wanted to incorporate some of the metallic shades, which I personally think in this palette are the reason you should buy it because they are pretty bomb. I mean, the mattes are good too. Um, they're a little stiff, but the foils, that's where it's at. That's where it's at. And if you are curious what is on my lips, this is one of Jeffree Star's newest lipsticks from his holiday collection in the shade Crocodile Tears. Anyway guys, if you want to know how I did this look, then keep on watching. This look is super easy but really dramatic. It's a green and berry look and I am wearing false lashes in this look. So let's move on to the next eye. For my transition color, I'm going in with oak. And usually when I use this palette, I go in with suede. However, um, the next color that I'm using is pretty dark and I thought it would blend better with oak rather than suede. So I'm just applying that to my upper crease. Next, I'm going in with velvet and applying that directly into my crease and slightly below oak. And then using a fluffy brush to blend it up into oak. Next I'm going to use Vault and I'm going to place that right where I placed the Velvet. And this is just going to give the look a little bit more sparkle because I did not want it to be a matte look. So I'm just placing it where I placed Velvet and then blending it up into Oak. For my brow bone highlight I'm going in with both Suede and Bone. And I'm using a mixture because I didn't want my highlight under my brow to be really, really white. Starting on my lid, I went in with Watt, but I did place a black base down using the NYX Jimbo Eye Pencil in a black bean. And I placed that on the inner and outer corner of my eye because in the middle we're going to put a different shade. So as you can see, I placed the black base down and then put Watt right on top of it. In the center, I'm going to be going in with another foil shadow, and this is in the shade Tinsel. And I'm placing that directly in the center of my eye, and then using Watt to blend it out to make sure that it's seamless and there are no harsh lines. Since this is a sort of cut crease look, I'm going back in with Velvet and I'm applying it in my crease, and then I'm taking a fluffier brush and blending it up to make sure that there is a gradient effect. These are the eyes after you do your wing liner and add some lashes. And you could totally leave them like this, but I always put color under my eyes because I think it just makes my eyes look better. So that's what we're going to do next. But you could totally leave it like this because I still think it's pretty. This is the final look if you decided to keep your under eyes bare. And on my cheeks, I'm wearing Jackie Ina's Le Bronze. And on my lips, I'm wearing Jeffree Star, the Laura Liquid Lipstick, and Crocodile Tears. All right, so let's work on the bottom lash line. So I'm first gonna go in with Velvet, and I'm gonna place that directly on my lash line. And then I'm going to blend it out with the shade of Vault. And I'm doing this once again because I don't want any part of this look to be really matte. I want it to be really sparkly and holiday-like, so that's why I'm doing that. And then I'm going to line my waterline with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Bean. I also tight lined with this as well. This is the eye look complete after you add shadow under your eye. And I did go back in and add a little bit of that watt shade right below my lower lash line because I wanted to incorporate um, that color because I did it on the top lid. I want it to all be cohesive. And this is the final look. I also think these eyes would look great with a red lip, but I want to be a little different and wear Jeffree Star's Crocodile Tears, which is a matte green. And of course, on my cheeks, I got that rose gold La Bronze by Artist Couture and Jackie Ina. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give me a big thumbs up and press the subscribe button down in the description box so you don't miss any more content from me. And I hope you come back and check out some more of my holiday videos. Oh, and I um, probably, by the time this goes up, I might have already um, done swatches and reviews of the new LeBron's gift set from Artist Couture and Jackie Ina, they collaborated. And y'all know, I don't know if y'all follow my videos that I watch here on YouTube, but Jackie is like, oh, Jackie is goals. I love that woman. She is just so classy, 
so beautiful and she keeps it real. So if you don't know who Jackie Ina is, I will leave a link to her channel right here and down below in the description box. But anyway, guys, I hope to see you in my next video and I hope you're enjoying your holidays.